Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to this week's episode where today we're going to be talking about the power, the infinite creative potential within you, within every human and within the universe. So sit back and enjoy and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest content with these videos. I hope to help you on your path of spiritual and personal evolution. So I've been reflecting this week um, on my own journey, but also on the journeys of the people that I'm blessed to meet and my clients and how we can go from being at absolute rock bottom to being totally high on life just because life is and not because anything particularly incredible has happened. So just high on the nature of life rather than being attached to Oh, I'll be happy when I get these goals. So we can go from being in an absolutely horrendous place to being just so feeling so blessed to be alive by going deep within our souls and, and going through this personal evolution that I speak of that so many people on the spiritual path are doing. And I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying it's worth it. The juice is worth the squeeze. And this is where we truly tap into the power of the human spirit, the power of the, the power that lies within us. And the power that lies within us is the same power that um, makes the whole world run. It's the power that makes the snow fall from the sky. It's the power that makes the hair grow on our heads. It's the power that um, helps animals throughout the entire planet reproduce. We all have this incredible creative power within us. But as humans, we don't often tap into it because we have an incredible psyche. We have an incredible mind consciousness to and different levels of consciousness that um, keep us like our ego, for instance, is an aspect of our psyche that is uh, a mechanism to keep us safe and a mechanism to keep us um, secure, comfortable. I'm not going to go too much into the ego today, but um, we have this layer of our conscious mind that kind of governs how we see the world, how we act in the world, how we show up in the world. And so this, because it's there to keep us safe, it doesn't want us to tap into this creative potential necessarily because that creative potential might mean danger. It, you know, it means the unknown. If we want to create anything new, we have to step into the unknown. So we have to go deep. We have to go deeper than the conscious mind. We have to work on transcending the ego and um, our conditioned behaviours, patterns that are keeping us stuck in this same place that are maybe keeping us at rock bottom and maybe you keep hitting rock bottom again and again and again. But, like what comes to mind the most is two years ago I could barely carry my own shopping having just had months of intensive chemotherapy and um, a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery and I couldn't walk around Waitrose and carry my own shopping I had to have help um, and this is just like about the physical body the physical spirit but what and at this time I was having suicidal thoughts I was in a very very dark place um, but what happened was I embraced this and I went within and I see this within my clients people who don't know where they're going to live next week people who are facing such changes and challenges within their identity because their business is changing. They can go from being down here to being up here by going within, by looking at their ego and connecting to this power deep within themselves. Anybody who has gone from he from questioning their life to loving their life has gone through a deep personal evolution and tapped into this power that does govern the, the, the seasons and that does help animals and society reproduce and that makes the sun shine and the tides go in and out. Like that is what anybody who has gone through a serious transformation has 
activated. So how can you activate this power within you? So over my few years of personal transformation and helping others with their personal transformation, the biggest thing, the easiest thing that you can do today is meditate. And different types of meditation can offer you different things, but all meditation will help you in one way or another activate the creative potential within you. So Vipassana is one of my go-to meditation techniques because it does help me understand that I am the pure awareness, that I am not the thinking mind, I am not the body, I am the pure awareness, I am the witness, I am, and when I am in that state, I am one with everything and with the universe. So this is what a silent meditation practice can help you with, and when you do that enough, it really helps you to cultivate this power, like you can just, I can sit in meditation and the power just flows through me. It is one of the most incredible feelings that I have ever experienced. The other way, uh, another meditation technique, there are obviously guided meditation techniques, so things like visualization that can help you go deeper, take you on a journey. And one of my favorite forms of this is active imagination. So Carl Jung, um, this was his secret weapon. He understood that we could bridge the gap between the conscious mind, so the ego, and the subconscious mind, which is really kind of are where all of our unconscious behaviors, habits, um, patterns reside. So active imagination, we could bridge the gap between the conscious and the unconscious, and we could communicate with our subconscious mind, and we could have ask questions of why we are acting this way, what is holding us back, how we can overcome it, and having these conversations with different aspects of our psyche we can resolve problems in our mind. So the internal world creates the external world. We can resolve problems internally and they will change externally without us having to do anything because we did the work internally. So active imagination and meditation are two of the most powerful things that I see people use and I help people use on their transformation journey. And really all it is, is that connection to self that is in its most simplest form, connection to self is the quickest way, the best, most effective way that you're going to transform your life and activate that power within you. People say, my life started to change when I split up from a partner, was when my life changed. But no, actually, your life changed because you chose yourself. Um, my life changed because I started doing yoga. No, your life changed because you connected to yourself and yoga helps you to do that. And then when you choose yourself, when you choose your own growth, something shifts within you. You suddenly communicate to the universe that I am serious. I am here for my evolution and I am here to be high on life. And things start to fall into place. You'll be given obstacles to overcome. You'll be given things to challenges to face. Um, and it's beautiful and it's magical and sometimes it's really difficult. But when you have this connection to self, this this knowing that there is an infinite potential that you are connected to that is constantly supporting you and helping you on your journey, you become unstoppable. You become completely unshakable. And so for anybody who wants to go from this place of um, maybe life is just a bit mediocre, like admit it to yourself, do you really love your life? To waking up and seeing the sunrise and being brought to tears with joy or having the most incredible intimate relationship with your partner or having ex building a business that is you're aligned with your dharma, your purpose, helping people in the way that you uniquely were brought here to do. This is all possible when you learn how to activate the power within you, when you learn how to tap into the infinite potential that resides within your soul. Everybody has access to it. Nobody is special. We are all, we are all one at the end of the day and we're all flowing through the same consciousness. But it takes somebody dedicated and devoted to living a higher, bigger life 
to want to be able to do this. So if you are on this path of maybe you have experienced a dark night of the soul, maybe you have maybe you have just faced an adversity in life like a health scare or like something financial in your business in your relationship whatever the big change is see it as an opportunity this is there is gold in this for you if you're willing to go into it if you're willing to go deep and activate your inner power i hope this video has helped you in some way to support you further i have guided meditations especially this um, a new meditation called the Find Your North Star is a form of meditation and active imagination that will help you connect to your subconscious and the superconscious mind. So I'll link that here for you. I have personal one-on-one -on -one active imagination sessions available for you to book. Um, we spend an hour, it's basically like an hour of coaching and communicating with your subconscious and the superconscious mind the super conscious being like your higher self um, and we go deep within and we get the answers that you need. I also have longer private coaching session, private coaching packages which will really help you to go deep into the transformation journey and you know within six months your life could be completely different. It could be the life that you are dreaming of living um, and so I have all of these options available to support you on this journey. If you have any questions or have had any insights, please leave a comment and let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe and do all of the things that you do to keep on supporting this content coming out. So have a beautiful day and just spend 10 minutes today going inward and connecting to your inner power. Mm -hmm.